after a week, finally a U.S. helicopter carrying aid. Dan Marie has been waiting for help since the hurricane hit this part of southern Haiti. I feel good that some aid is coming. We were desperate. But it was not what everyone expected. Another disappointment in the long wait for water and food. I'm, I'm encouraging the local government to spread the word and I've just shown them that this is to toothpaste and toilet paper and soap. Nothing edible. Okay. Um, and that we're still waiting for the appropriate food and water for the town. Damaris mayor told us his people are desperate, he's angry, and so are many of those living here. The hurricane left this town devastated. It is very difficult for people here. They need a lot of things. We haven't received any aid from the Haitian government or international organizations. I don't know what they are doing. He took us to the hospital, and again, just like everywhere else in southern Haiti, there is a shortage of almost everything. This is the only hospital for over 40,000 people, and as you can see, most of the shelves are empty. There are no supplies here. This is crucial for treating cholera, and obviously there's not enough. We met Similien, whose son is suspected of having cholera. The risk of an outbreak are huge. Around 2 a.m. he started vomiting, and I was scared, and I brought him here. The doctor told us that it could be cholera. That's when they started to treat him. We found similar situations over and over again. Haiti's weakened infrastructure made worse by the damage caused by the hurricane. Outside the main towns, people are trying to prepare for the worst. They're picking up what has survived the hurricane. Their crops have been destroyed. The risks of hunger enormous. I have to get this from the mud, but we have to rescue what we can. I have lost everything, including our crops. Even though international aid has started to arrive in Haiti, some vast areas have not seen any of it. No one here wants a repeat of past mistakes. After the earthquake in 2010, critics say aid distribution was filled with corruption and mismanagement. People here wait desperately for help. For some, it never seems to arrive. Teresa Wo, Al Jazeera, Damari, Haiti.